The third exponent rule is power of a power, and it's the last one that you saw in gray nine. So what is the power of a power? If I've got five squared to the power of four, so it's five to the power of two to the power of four, what does it mean? Well, it means that I'm gonna have five squared four times, right? And if I got it four times, the if I'm multiplying like bases, I need to add them. So I got two plus two plus two plus two, and that is five to the power of eight. Let me grab the blue one. Five to the power of eight. Right, so two times four is eight. That makes sense, I'm gonna have two four times. So basically the rule is power of a power, if I have a base multiplied by the power to the power, I multiply the exponents. But I wish you didn't memorize it, you just kind of understood it, that hey, if I got this to this, I got this so many times, I can just count them, right? Well, what if it's x, y to the power of four, the whole thing to the power of three? Well, let's do it the long way and then the short way. That means that I'm gonna have this bracket three times. So I'm gonna have x three times, so it's x to the power of three. And I'm gonna have y to the power of four three times, and three times four is 12. So basically, I notice something. If I have a power outside, that power goes onto everything inside that bracket. So x to the power of three, that's one times three is three, and y to the power of four to the power of three, so four times three gives us 12. Make sense? So let's do it in one step. If I got three things inside that bracket, well, the two is a coefficient, that's not a power, so that's just two to the power of three. That's two times two is four, times two is eight. A squared to the power of three. Well, that means I'm gonna have two times three is six. So it's A to the power of six. And then B to the power of three to the power of three. So I'm going to have 3 times 3, which is b to the power of 9. 